I'm going to cover three reasons why you should be careful using regexes in your code. Regular expressions or regexes are really powerful tools to help you see if a string matches a certain pattern. They're widely used for validation of forms. For example, if you enter your email address somewhere, then you can use a regex to check that it's actually a valid email address. And lots of websites, lots of applications are using that. But if you use regexes wrong, it can actually do way more harm than you might think. By the way, this is a new series that I'm starting of shorter, bit more focused videos that I'm going to publish on Tuesdays. We haven't really thought of a proper name yet. For the time being, I'm just going to call these Tuesday tips with the risk that actually we decide to no longer run these on Tuesdays and then we have to rename them. But Tuesday tips, let's stick with that. If you have any other suggestion for how to name these videos, feel free to post it in the comments. The first reason why you should be careful with regexes is that you can trigger a so-called redos attack. Here I have an example of a simple main function that has an email address and it calls a function validate email. And validate email, what does that do? Well, that's a uh, simple function that matches a regular expression with a pattern. In this case, we're doing this for email addresses. When we run the main file, you see it's actually really fast, 0 0.000022 seconds to perform the match. But actually there's a huge problem with the regex that we're using in this particular case. If I change the email address to something like this, lots of A's, let's save that. So now you see when I run this code, it doesn't actually stop at all. So I have to cancel the program like this. The reason that this happens is called backtracking. And that means that if the input fails to match that the regex checking engine goes back to the previous position to try again. And the engine will try this over and over again to explore all the possible paths. And the particular regex that I'm using here is inefficient. So it creates this really long loop to go through all of the possibilities. And because not everybody is nice on the internet, we can't assume that everybody will put in nicely formatted email addresses in your form. So you have to be careful. And that also brings us to reason number two, which is that readability and maintainability of regexes is hard. So here you see a couple of different regexes for email addresses. Now, before I continue, pause the video and ask yourself, which one of these regexes is actually a bad regex? Is it one, two, or three? The answer to the question is the first one is bad and regexes two and three are good. Now, if you didn't catch this, don't feel bad about it because regexes are actually really hard to read and it's really hard to guess which ones are good and which ones are bad. Here you can actually pretty clearly see the difference between the performance of these regexes. So we have the evil pattern, which is the blue line, and we have the good pattern, zero and good pattern one, which uh, you don't see this one because it's overlaid by the green one because they're both like really fast. But you can see clear difference between a good pattern like this one and a bad pattern like this, where if the length of the string increases, the evil pattern, the bad pattern actually increases a lot in time in order to compute that particular match. So that has the possibility to make a big difference in performance of your application if you're using a lot of pattern matching. The third reason that you need to be careful with regexes is that they can lead to false positives and negatives. For example, if your email address validation regex is not perfect, it might actually let through invalid email addresses that are then stored in the database, leading to all sorts of problems with people not being able to log in. And especially if you use the email address later on in your application, you're going to assume that it's going to be correct. So that can lead to all sorts of problems. And then when your application crashes because of that, it's going to be really hard to debug because it's, it's not a problem in the code, it's a problem in the data. Now, of course, this is something that you should take into account when you send an email and probably an email service will raise an error if for some reason the email address doesn't work, but it can still be hard to figure out. So in summary, you have to be careful when using regex. One small addition or modification to the pattern can actually have a huge effect on performance. So two recommendations. The first is use a pre-existing and validated regex. Don't just randomly use something that you found on the internet or on Stack Overflow or something. Make sure you're actually using high quality regexes. The second thing you should do, and that's specifically to avoid these redos 
regex denial of service attacks is to make sure you have some additional input validation. For example, you could put a maximum on the string length to avoid these kinds of attacks. And that way you have an extra line of defense that helps you avoid performance issues with regex validation. I hope you enjoyed this short video. For the little dashboard that I made here to compare different regexes, I actually used Dash. And that's a really nice tool to create these sorts of dashboards. If you want to learn more about how to build an app using Dash, I did a video about that a while ago, and you can watch that right here. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.